to have you. Foul weather? Bah! I have Why help? I have told you before, sir, I had nothing to do with that anonymous article. Nothing, I say. That is a lie, sir. And you know it. Bah, I don't have time for this nonsense. Nonsense? It is my name and reputation you have willfully besmirched, sir. My very name. Bah! <laughs> drive, damn you, drive! <laughs> that is Richard Owen. A vile, despicable wretch of a man. Really? I could have sworn you were close friends. Mr. Owen works at the asylum. He will know who made the syrup. Get him! Get him! Faster, you dead Faster! He's getting away! so hard. Jacob, uh, Miss uh, Fry, how good to see you. Oh, have you seen Stalic's latest lies? Lies in a newspaper? What transpired from the new line you're establishing? Oh, the cables we ordered never arrived. And then we intercepted this. A message mentioning cargo seized at College Wharf. Then let's unseize it. Oh, uh, wait. Another intercepted wire contained the recipe for a powerful hallucinogenic serum. I've adapted this dart mechanism to work with your braces. Alec, you're a genius. Well, that patently is untrue. Although I've also discovered that the serum adopts a form of a gas when subjected to heat. Just when I think you can't surpass yourself. Get up! We have a new one! Run! 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 Run!
forwards are best spoon. My hands go bigger bullets than you.
docks, lads! We need to get this load to Steric now! Make yourself scarce. Poison. Bell must know what kind. There, Mr. Bell. Every worthwhile endeavor is fraught with dangers, my dear friends. None more so than yours. But you have triumphed once again. How do you know? We have entered the age of communication, remember? We've already received word from Greenwich that the shipment has arrived safely, thanks to you. Have you discovered what else is in that shipment? Indeed. Um, I'm afraid that Starrick's poison has found its way onto the open market. If he believes that will stop us, he is mistaken. I trust that you had a productive meeting with Mr. Owen. Oh, yes. We had a most wonderful chat. I found out the man behind Starrick's soothing syrup is John Elliotson. Dr. Elliotson. I haven't heard that name in a long while. He was a brilliant heart specialist until he became obsessed with phrenology and mesmerism. It ruined his career. Well, how shall we proceed? Oh, with all respect, Mr. Darwin, I believe I should proceed alone. After all, we wouldn't want to attract any unwanted attention. Sounds very wise. Good luck, my boy. Oh, and uh, Mr. Fry, should you find yourself with any free time, please do call on me.
You fancy some fun? Oh, I thought you... Find the doctor. As you've just witnessed, the application of too much pressure can sometimes result in unexpected outcomes. Unfortunately, it appears I've ruined the organ. Send up a cadaver. At once, Dr. Litson. I don't care about your ethics, and I care even less about your damn patience. Now hand over your keys. What are you doing? Haven't you heard? You're fired. Now bugger off. How to do it. <laughs> <laughs> 